Hi, this is Patrick from STH. Proxmox V is a great open virtualization and container solution that we use at STH quite frequently. Aside from its great virtualization features, it has one killer feature. Proxmox V has one of the easiest ZFS on Linux booting of any Debian distribution we've ever seen. One can configure it directly from the graphical installer. Even though ZFS on Linux boot system generally works really well, there's one issue that you can see from time to time on systems where the R pool fails to automatically import, which means you have a system that's stuck on booting. We've seen this in quite a few of our systems where we were trying to boot from fast mirrored SSDs. And so we wanted to make a video on how to fix it. Luckily the fix is simple and that's what we're gonna show in this video. If you have this issue, you'll see a cannot import R pool no such pool available message followed by manually import the pool and exit. To get started, you can type the command that's right there on the screen again, and now your pool should be imported. From there, you can type exit and the system will boot as normal. Since the command failed at first, but worked a few seconds later when we typed it in, a simple solution to fix this in the future is to update your grub configuration. On the grub default line, you want to add a root delay. In this case, we're going to use four seconds, but some systems will need 68 to work. Others suggest simply using 10 to be safer. When you need a host to come back online as soon as possible, those extra seconds can seem like a long time, so we generally use a little bit shorter of a root delay. Here you can exit and save, and now you can update grub. Once that is done, we suggest rebooting to make sure your root delay is long enough. We're going to cut out three minutes of server reboot, but show that in the end, this fix worked for our system. If it didn't work on a four second delay, then what you'd want to do is expand probably to a 10 second root delay and start working from there. Although this is an annoying problem, it's also one that is very easy to fix. Thank you for watching. Take some time to visit the STH main site, check out other videos we have, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.